Hello, everyone. Hi. How you doing? And it's time for another to welcome to a question and answers <laughs> with your favorite boys, uh, Joel Zammert and Jackson and Bailey. It's going to be a gentle one this time. No, it's not. It's not. Um, so uh, we're going to be answering the questions that we got on the Discord. And, and the Twitter. And the Twitter. And I think maybe some of them are from the comments of the first YouTube video with me and Zoe. So I'll get ready. Um, so Stantium, I think that's the name I got, I, if I got it right. I don't know. He asks, um, what is your, who is your dream guest? Plausibility be damned. And to have on any show. Uh, for me, I think it would be Carl Krasinski. Um, Krasinski? Dr. Carl. You know, no, Dr. Dr. Carl. Carl. Right. Because I have this question for him that I've always wanted to ask, and the question is, what would it take? And it's a question I've asked you as well in the past. It's a good if question. you had watermelons living on a planet, and those watermelons were existing in the perfect, like the conditions were perfect for those watermelons to eventually become watermelon people, so they had no predators, prey in is, is in abundance or whatever. <laughs> How long would it take before we got watermelon people? Is basically my question. Could we take any living being or creature or, or, or plant or whatever on the earth so, now and give it the perfect conditions and the, the right amount of time to eventually evolve into people? So the theory there is like, okay, so we had dinosaurs yeah. and they fucked off. And then yep. we had the mammals ri like mm -hmm. rise to power. Like, if we get wiped out, what's next? Melons. Melons? <laughs> well, I just think that... I just... Because like, clearly, the clearly there were conditions that were perfect to producing us. Oh, could you imagine like cutting open like a watermelon and then you just like, crack it open and there's like a kind of half formed brain? <laughs> like, mm. Oh, yeah, like the mid. Yeah, point. yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. Mm. Oh, no, I'm boy. still getting around it. I just very much like that moment where like the melons become ambulatory, but not, <laughs> <laughs> like where they're just like detached from the plant and go rolling around looking for prey. Sometimes. Eventually they'll eat meat. Eventually they'll have to. They'll have to. That's good. Like, or, or they, brain power. Would they get like mouths? How would they eat? Because if they're rolling, ideally you'd kind of want like a membrane, which where they could just capture like oh, insects that's true. Or small rodents. I, and then just slowly dissolve them. Do any animals roll? There's a fungus armadillo. that does, and armadillos do. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's the kind of thing where they roll and then occasionally they can open something and like their mouth opens to catch the food that they roll over the mm. top of. Anyway, I'd just like to talk to Dr. Carl about it because I think he knows. Fair enough. <laughs> yeah. Um, what about you? I think, I don't know, Like I guess my, my like, honest question, answer with this would be probably Tony Martin. He's like an Australian radio comedian comic. Um, just because he's been such like a giant influence on my own sort of comedy stylings and like way I've sort of present myself. But there's that old adage of like, don't meet your hero. So I'm like, I don't know if I do want to meet him. Well, so. if I was meeting my, you know, in a similar vein, it'd probably be Hamish and Andy because they're a huge influence on mm. me. And I've heard from people that have met them in not professional situations that they're lovely. So... Yeah. Yeah, Hamish hey, and Andy, come on the show. <laughs> either that, like, you're you're, even um, like, like Kevin Smith, because again, they're talking about more influences. Like, I'd love mm. to have a chat with him about how he started his whole. Yeah, yeah, thing. yeah. It's not exactly a funny answer, but it's an answer. Kevin Smith wears shorts that are too big. Yeah. Um, you got another question? All oh, right, do. Uh, what's something? Uh, this is from Amelia. What's something that you hate that everyone else seems to love? Uh, oh. Frozen yogurt, froyo, whatever, gross. I thought you were no, gonna be like you. frozen yogurt, froyo, -yo. <laughs> yogurt, yogurt that is being in a freezer. <laughs> All these things and more. These uh, three individual things. No, I fro mean. yeah, froyo, and then museums. I hate them. Yeah, that's both things I love, and I don't understand how you can hate. I don't a museum. understand how you can love a museum. It's boring so and good. shit. It's an educative journey. Yeah. So is Wikipedia. Wikipedia so is like oh, I can't documentary. Even talk to you. So we're like. So I'm gonna go into the things. city, I'm gonna buy a froyo, mm. and I'm gonna go learn about dinosaurs. Yeah, but I can also like eat an ice cream and look at my uh, documentary online about dinosaurs and have a better experience. Pot. I can watch a YouTube video of a lion, but I'm gonna go to the zoo. <laughs> anyway, the thing that <laughs> I, I hate that, I that everyone else loves yeah. is the third Bioshock game, Bioshock Infinite. Everybody seems to think that game is phenomenal, but for me it was like the most boring video game I've ever played. It was incredibly repetitive. The story was garbage. 
I hated every second of it. But everyone's like, oh my god, Jackson, this is so good. I got halfway through and I'm like, I hate this, and I stopped playing. And I know about the ending, so don't be like, oh, you didn't see the ending, so you don't. I've read about the ending, I've watched the videos, I still hate it. Bioshock 2, real good. But apparently people think that's the worst Bioshock, so... I guess my opinion's just wrong. I have only played a one Bioshock. Oh, that's good too, though. Mm. One's good. Two, one, three. That's that's my opinion. Um, Orlando Davidson asks, Would I rather eat a bowel of mosquitoes or shave my beard? First of all, I don't want to eat a bowel of anything. <laughs> I got hollowed out B-O-W-E-L. It's a bowel of mosquitoes. And the idea of eating a bowel of <laughs> fucking anything is disgusting. That someone either ate a lot of mosquitoes and this, their bowels are full of it. Or did someone get it like cut up a bit of bowel and just pack it full of mozzies. Oh, see, that's nicer than what I... Both of them are nice. Than, I was imagining a gape full of mosquitoes. Ah! Uh, I don't want to eat that. That's fair. Uh, I'll shave my beard. I'll shave my beard in a heartbeat. Sometimes I just think about... I don't want to eat a gape of mosquitoes. Sometimes uh, I, just, I just think about uh, shaving my beard in the mirror when I'm doing, like, a trim. I never am looking in the mirror of my beard and I'm like, actually, <laughs> if somebody uh, filled a gape with mosquitoes, I'd rather do that. Yeah. So shave. Yeah, definitely shave. I think oh. sometimes I think about shaving my ah, all the fucking time, and I think when we go to the UK later, I'm I'm so tempted to shave my head because <laughs> I know I've got a month over there where I'm not interacting <laughs> with like people I know, so it kind of like it gives me like a month of leeway to look weird. <laughs> shave your head, just keep it. Oh yeah, you, absolutely. You look I'll look gross. Yeah. Um, Izki asks recommendations for Australian movies slash weird movies from wherever. Uh, let's see, Australian movies, they're not weird, but they're ones I like. Uh, paper, is it Paperback Writer or Paper? Oh. There's one where um, Wolverine, he drives a truck and he writes a novel and it's real sweet. It's yeah. a rom com, it's nice. Uh, also, I think it's one called CM Sunset. I think it's one. Cool. That's also nice. Mary and Max is nice. That's a little claymation film. Oh, that's real good. It's really touching. That's really lovely. Got that um, Philip something something. Yeah. Him. And uh, old mate, he died. A couple other couple people. <laughs> no, but that's a lovely film. Um, I'm trying to think. What What the heck? It's not Australian, but it's it's a movie. It's kind of weird. It's called Mr. Nobody. I really, really like it. It's kind of, uh, it's got Jared Leto in it um, before he got weird. It's real good. It sort of uh, it takes us like one point in the kid's life, and if you kind of went like several different ways, to explore different paths. Oh yeah. And there, there's a future scene. <clears throat> it's all in the future, and the whole plot, plot, or a big plot point is that they have to last till the big crunch. So if they're alive when the big crunch happens, they just kind of go back in time. Oh, okay. But like he's like the last remaining old person or something like that because everyone stopped aging. Then everyone is carrying around a pig, and then no one. It's never really explained yeah. why everyone's <laughs> got a pig. But then in like the commentary or like in the like, uh, trivia section, everyone's got a pig because it's genetically compatible with you. So if you're in an accident <laughs> or need something, you got so your it's pig. Like, it's like an organ pig, basically. Yeah, you carry oh, around your organ pig. That's good. Oh, that's, I don't need to carry it around, but that's good. Like, because if you're in an accident, what if your organ pig and you get got? Yeah, exactly. That's silly. If only they're stupid. <laughs> want to protect your organ pig. It's a neat pig. idea. What about, yeah. why not, I mean, it's the future, just grow a big sack on your back full of all of your bonus organs. That's the same problem. Be. If you're in a, you're in yeah. an accident, your sack gets Put them in a briefcase. Well, anyway. In your house, in a safe. <laughs> oh, what if you need it? Uh, look, it's problematic. Have several organ pigs roaming around. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. I would suggest for a weird film, it's not, it's just quite good. It's, it's a French film called uh, <laughs> The Brand New Testament, I think it's called. And it's basically like, God exists and he lives in an apartment in Brussels. And he's a cunt. <laughs> and he, he just exists to make things, like, awful for people. Oh. Um, and he's got a wife and a daughter. And Jesus, but Jesus has left home. And the daughter's like, God, my dad's a dick. And then one day she breaks into his, like, room where his computer is. And she just starts fucking with Earth. Uh, and one yeah. of the things she does is she's like, I'm going to text everybody the day that they're going to die. And so everybody gets their death date. And so people like the world just goes crazy. And like, there's this one guy that's like sweet. He's like 20, but he's like, I'm not going to die till I'm 70. So he just keeps jumping out windows. <laughs> and he like jumps out a window and falls and lands on like a truck full of pillows running by. And he's like, I can't die. <laughs> um, it's real good. And then it's like, she escapes into earth and she creates a brand new Testament, gets new followers. Ah, it's, it's really good. And he gets like 12 new apostles. 
It's worth watching. I think it's on Netflix, so or Stan or something. Get on it. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, Liam Byron asks, best and worst members to Freaky Friday with? Of Sans Pants, assuming. presumably. Best would be you, because you have like zero responsibilities and you're lazy. That is true, uh, but my body is slowly given up on Yeah, this. which would be like, why <laughs> I wouldn't do much with, with it? Yeah, hey, that's true. Like, I guess it's not your responsibility <laughs> yeah. anymore. So. In fact, if anything, I'd make it worse. Oh, man. Like, do I get it back at the end? or is I it... assume, yeah. Well, yeah. Because okay. then I'd be like, I, you know, trying to be this healthy thing mm. and trying to be, be fit, but like... With you, I don't care. No, you can eat whatever yeah. you like. That's pretty good. Uh, uh, for I don't know. Like I, I think I'd be pretty happy Freaky Fridaying into anyone. Yeah. Like anybody. Worse, in, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like there's nobody that I'd be like, oh no, because everybody comes with its own brand new opportunities. Mm. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, yeah, I can't think of anybody that be, I'd be disappointed to land in. <laughs> I think everybody'd be fun. <laughs> I could know. just say stuff, and that just mean. So yeah, no, um, no, no one, no one, no one, and freaky fighting it to everyone would be the best. Would be kind of neat. Yeah, um, cranks. <laughs> If you guys are Team Dumbfuck, what are the other teams? Oh, we're not well, Team Dumbfuck. Was... We are actually Team Amish at <laughs> Douche 13, 13 Butthole 5. There you go. The best team there is. Also sounds like it could be like the name of a... Butthole 5 makes me think of Fahrenheit. What's that? Uh, Fahrenheit. Fahrenheit. No, no. Isn't there like a something 5 that's like a classic novel? Maroon 5. Yes. Slaughterhouse 5. Slaughterhouse 5. Butthole 5. <laughs> it's about time travel, I assume. <laughs> yeah, I've, I've never read it. It was, Ray, a man, it was a man Ray Bradbury's in, other play. He's in a play. He's in a. He's in a. In a. Uh, shushing. <laughs> what the fuck do you call it? Shushing the. Oh, uh, no. Coffin? No. Oh, uh, in a house. In a. Uh, morgue. You put him in a. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, God. Need you know, help, Jackson. You put him in a... Shishing isn't helping. You put him in your... <laughs> like a drawer. Yeah, a like body drawer. A bo- <laughs> what the fuck do you call it? You know, uh, the like body, a morgue drawer. The body drawer uh, at the morgue. Uh, like a... Ugh. Is there a name for it? Maybe there's not, and that's why. I'm a joking. body draw. Yeah. A shishing. There's a fella in the shishing, and he keeps going back in time to like the Like in war. The Machinist? Is that the machinist? Uh, no, know. the jacket. The jacket? Yes! Oh, maybe I'm thinking of the jacket. Mm. Was the jacket it. based on Slaughterhouse 5? <laughs> I'm gonna say yes. Mm. Put that in your history assignment. Mm. <laughs> uh, Kaylee Morgan asks if you could die at the hands of an 80s <laughs> slasher villain, who would it be and why? 80s slasher Jason, because Jason's sad. <laughs> <laughs> Jason's so like, I mean, like until he comes back from. Nah, even uh, poor kid, he was drowned because the fucking camp leaders were boning instead of looking after the kid that's gonna drown. Jesus, hmm. poor Jason, he doesn't know. And then his mom <laughs> goes and kills people in his name. It's rough. It is rough. Sympathy for Jason. Hashtag sympathy <laughs> for Jason. Poor guy. Yeah, f- uh, Freddy Krueger, I think would be all right. Why? Okay, have an interesting dream. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I guess. <laughs> like, my dream's relatively boring. Be- this one, I'm just like, well. <laughs> the trick to get Freddy is to have a dream that's very difficult to make a pun out of. Because mm. if he can't do it, he can't kill you, basically. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't know what's hard to make a pun out of, so. Also, I get to sleep in mine. That's yeah, that's pretty true. Good. Well, in mine, I get to help a guy work through something. <laughs> That's also pretty good. Yeah. Uh, Badger King 800? Yeah. Or Pooh. <laughs> Ask clone of yourself, would you fuck it or would you make it do all the things you don't want to do? C- Why is there an or? <laughs> but Kenna lost dust, friend. <laughs> hey, you're not thinking hard enough. Absolutely. I would, I would go to town fuck, on what my... E- what even? Go I, to town, get gone to town on, and also do things we don't... Absolutely. Come on, man. And everybody's life would be improved if we had a clone that was presumably subservient. <laughs> nah, but the problem there is, like, they'd, they'd be like, well, uh, you're the clone. Well, that's what I was going to say, because this one's, it's like, make him do everything that you don't want to do. Yeah. So that assumes that the clone just will. But you're right, because the clone will be like, well, why aren't you doing everything? Yeah, like, you're the clone. Like, no, I'm not the... Ah, shit. The clever thing to do is work with your clone and say it's doing the dishes. You're going to do them twice as fast if there's two of you. Exactly. That's the thing. You work together and then your reward is some sneaky boning. Yeah, between you and your clone. Oh. A clone bone. A hashtag. Mm. A, a mm. little clone bone. Take it in turns. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Ah, oh, man. Ah, oh, 
Oh, all day. You couldn't stop me boning my clothes. Ah, <laughs> oh, oh, fuck me. <laughs> It'd be You're like, what happened to Zaman and Jack? Well, oh, they got cloned. They got cloned. You know what that you means? Stop boning them. Yeah, <laughs> it's a problem. That was a problem with clones. The moment we invent <laughs> like commercial. <laughs> Commercially available clothes. Yeah. The entire like economy is gonna crash because no one will be working. Uh, you think sex bots are gonna be the problem no. in the future? No. Clone Nothing. Bones. Cloning. Clone boning. The great clone mm. bone disaster of 2044. That's <laughs> why they outlawed it. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. It's, it's dangerous. Yeah. Um, well, that's all the questions that's we have question. for today. All right, I hope then. you enjoyed. Uh, hopefully, we'll be back soon with some more questions. Um, if you've got any further questions, you can use. The hashtag Amish. Use the hashtag Amish butthole five, let's say, or you can send them to douche thirteen, yeah. which is douche's Twitter handle. Um, or leave them in the comments below. Yeah. That also works. Or you can, you know, contact me personally. I'm at goddamn it, Zamet. and I'm at all dogs are dead. So feel free to hit us up, and we hope you have a wonderful night. Sayonara. Goodbye. Goodbye. Perfect. Oh, well. I'm check to make sure that it did record. That's a good idea. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and if you think that was worth at least a dollar, why not donate to our Patreon account? Check the show notes or follow the links on our website, sanspantsradio.com.